Hello folks, welcome to Tokyo. I'm currently testing out the brand new OpenXR development tool for the Windows Mixed Reality sort of OpenXR platform. And uh, for this particular development, we're looking at motion reprojection because it has been improved, but also the crashes that you've been noticing when going in and out of VR, that's been fixed as well. Also, I have noticed better clarity with the Reverb G2. I really have. Uh, so that's amazing. This is the one I've been waiting for, actually. I haven't really been saying much about it. I did get a bit of a sort of tip to say this was coming. Um, but now it's actually here. So I'm just showing you here. I've got motion reprojection on. And uh, you can see here that the prop tearing is hardly any. But that's because we're right now locked at 30 frames per second I do recommend tuning your system for 30 frames per second and if it does drop to 22.5 that's a worst case situation but you can see here folks this is the reason why I harp on about it so much it's super super smooth there's no ghosting no stuttering I don't care what anybody says and I say this all the time but this is the honest truth you are not gonna get the smoothness that you really want from flying unless you use motion reprojection or you're getting 90 frames per second even at say 35 40 frames per second without uh, motion reprojection it's gonna feel nice don't get me wrong I, you know I use it myself but for flights like this when you want to pick out every single building and when you're waggling your wings like this, you're not going to get any tearing or ghosting or stuttering, which does actually hurt my eyes personally. So look at this. This is so smooth. And I'm recording as well. And we're still nailed at 30 frames per second here. Look at the colours here. Now, I must confess, I did do this flight in the Aero yesterday. And uh, that was just mind-blowing. With the colours in that thing, they are so much better than the reverb. Having said that, this is still very impressive. And one thing the Aero does not have right now, and that is motion reprojection. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Now, as we're flying really low to the ground here, just a few things to note. Uh, in order to get this update, make sure that you download the OpenXR dev tool from the Microsoft Store app. You've probably already downloaded it. And if so, just click Get Updates in the right-hand corner. This is the version you should be running. I'll put it on the screen now. That is the latest OpenXR dev tool. Uh, also make sure that, uh, as I say, to test this out, motion reprojection automatic. And as I always do with my settings, 70% in OpenXR and 100% render scale, 100% so resolution in the render scale in the sim. Do you know, folks, I don't think I've ever seen it this smooth before. Look how low we are. And I can pick out every single building and it's so smooth. Look how silky this is. This is crazy, like, wow. I'm trying to get it to stutter and it's just not, it's not doing it. <laughs> My system, by the way, is a 10900K Stormforce PC running 32 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3090, so it is beastly. But even with those specs, I haven't seen it this smooth. And it's great to see now that we can jump in and out of VR and we won't get any crashes. So at the moment I'm using preview mode and it's running really well. But remember, preview mode is a beta release. So if things are a little bit unstable, go back to the non-preview mode. And I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys, because as I said, I wasn't actually gonna make a video, but I just had to tell you about this. Go get it, let me know how it is for you. But I tell you what, this is a joy. Very, very smooth performance. So before I go and fly off into the sunset, I just want to say a massive thank you to my Discord group for letting me know this update. Uh, also, the Facebook group, Microsoft Flight Simulator Virtual Reality, I think it's called. I'll have a link in the description below. That is a really brilliant Facebook group, uh, owned and moderated by myself, but also by the VR pilot. He's the uh, creator of that group. He also has a YouTube channel please check him out he's got some great content look at this it's so smooth and yeah i'm just going to fly all night guys to be honest and uh, get this video up and uh yeah crack on enjoy this update please let me know how you're getting on and i'll see you again very soon take care bye for now